Hi, I'm Jeff Kaufman of Silver Sport Transmissions, and today we're going to cover some features, uh, some of the advantages, the benefits of those features uh, on the Tremec TKO 5 speed, so follow along. So one of the things I thought we would cover is what is a pilot bearing? Pilot bearing is literally a small bearing. It goes in the end of the crankshaft, and what that does, when you install the transmission, the tip of the input shaft will go into this bearing, and that supports the input shaft in the crank. And on this one, this is, a, this is a Chevy pilot bearing, so you can see how this is radiused here. That way when you go to install it, you want this facing the transmission. The other side is going to be kind of flat. So this is going to aid in getting that input shaft into that bearing through that region. Uh, another one is input shaft size. This is one and one eighth. All TKOs except for the Ford 4615 TKO 500 have a one and one eighth diameter input shaft. Now all of the GM versions are 26 splines uh, as well as the Ford uh, 5008 and the 4617. Uh, the 5201 also has the 26 spline input shaft. 4615 is going to be a 1 and 1 16th uh, 10 spline Ford input shaft. Your bearing retainers, this is called a bearing retainer or quill. Uh, this diameter here is going to be the same as a Muncie. So any bell housing made for a Muncie will accept this bolt pattern, this being a GM version of the TKO. Uh, Muncie size register hole in the back of the bell housing. Same on the Ford. The Ford will have the top loader diameter uh, bearing retainer. And of course it'll have the different bolt pattern uh, for the Ford which uses these lower holes down here on the bottom. These are not drilled out obviously for this one, but this one has the GM Muncie. Ford would be a little bit different up top and then opened up down here at the bottom. All right, so moving around to this side, you have your fill plug, you have your drain plug. They are on the passenger side of the transmission, not the driver's side. So you would fill this just like a differential. Uh, pull this out, fill it up till it just starts to trickle out, you know it's full, put your plug back in. Uh, moving over here, a lot of guys don't know where the ID tag is. So here on the side of the trans, bolted to the extension housing, you're going to find your ID tag. This will tell you what model transmission you have. This will give you your date code and your serial number as well. This will be needed when you register your transmission with Tremec. Uh, this side over here, passenger side again, you're going to have the vehicle speed sensor. So if you're going to run an electronic speedometer, we can supply a pigtail. Pigtail pops in here. That will give you your two-wire uh, VSS signal for your speedometer. Uh, next you have your isolator mount. Uh, face of the trans to the center line of the isolator bolts. It's going to be about 15 and a quarter inches. So some good information if you're planning a cross member. Overall length of the TKO is just over 24 inches uh, on that. And moving to the rear, uh, commonly we hear uh, this, a lot of guys think this will take a Turbo 400 slip yoke, which is a 32 spline. This is actually a Ford C6 style slip yoke which is 31 splines, uh, so it will not interchange with a um, Turbo 400 yoke. Okay, back here hanging off the rear, you're going to find your neutral safety switch. We also have the pigtail for that. So if you want to run a neutral safety switch to interrupt the starter, that way your starter cannot be activated until the uh, transmission is in neutral. So we do have the plug for that uh, if you do wish to use the neutral safety switch. All right, um, one biggie here is the shifter. Um, we hear a lot, you know, hey, I hear this has multiple shifter positions, so I, I don't need to have any kind of modified shifter location. I'm just going to use one of the multiple shift positions that come with the trans. Well, here are your multiple shifter positions. That's it. You get one of two positions. So this has six bolts. They're half-inch bolts, half-inch head. Um, you can flip the shifter 180 degrees to move this forward. We also offer a shifter to put this up in the middle as well as many other custom shifter locations for other applications. We'll roll, roll through some images of those uh, to show you what we do with our custom shifter locations. But out of the box, you get these two positions. So there, there's a handful of cars that these will work with just out of the box and you know, give us a call. We can definitely help you with that for sure. So this is going to be a direct replacement for the standard Tremec TKO shifter. So this is going to offer you some additional side-to-side -side spring biasing, so it's going to make that 2-3 up shift more crisp. Uh, this also reduces the shifter handle travel by 10%, so you're going to have a little shorter throw, 
but the main benefit is going to be a tighter, tighter feel, additional spring biasing, so you can nail that 2-3 upshift. As an alternative, if you're going to run a mechanical speedometer, we do have the speedometer cables. So we've got these for GM, Ford, and Mopar applications. We have multiple gears, driven gears. Uh, on uh, GM and Mopar, if you wish to keep your factory cable, we do offer this adapter. And that will allow you to keep your uh, existing factory uh, GM or Mopar speedometer cable. Up here on the side, we have the backup light switch or reverse light switch. We do have a nice weather pack pigtail. Goes on here. Keep your backup lights functional. And uh, I'll move up top here. One of the things that we do with our um, perfect fit process, the case machining. So out of the box, the TKO is kind of broad shouldered. It's kind of squared off across the top. And as your tunnel tries to wrap over the transmission, typically will contact here in this area. So that's a lot of times where you'll see the contact. So what we do with our uh, to cover plates, we step down these sides. So let me turn this the same direction here. So you can see the difference. Now this is stepped down here on the sides. This is stepped down over here. This sits a little bit lower. So it's going to give you a little bit of extra space. So a lot of times just this alone uh, will give you enough tunnel clearance to eliminate the tunnel cut. Uh, when we machine these, we do disassemble the transmission. Uh, so these go through a CNC Haas machine uh, to do the machining. And all the metal chips and everything are cleaned out and it goes back together nice and clean. So you won't find any kind of metal chips or anything like that in your transmission. Um, another upgrade we offer is going to be the synchronizer blocker rings. The stock blocker rings have no friction lining. So this is good for about 6,000 RPMs. Uh, if you want to lower your shift effort and increase your shift RPM, we can install these blocker rings. They have a carbon fiber friction lining. So this will take your TKO RPM capability up to about 7,000 RPMs. It also lowers your shift effort down at lower RPMs as well. So it kind of slicks up the transmission a little bit. That's a nice upgrade. And then finally, what's new is the Tremec HPF, um, right, the MTF, High Performance Manual Transmission Fluid. So this is a brand new fluid that Tremec has uh, blended to their own specs. So historically, you've run uh, DEX-3 or the Pennzoil Synchromesh or GM Synchromesh in the Tremex. That stuff still it works well, but Tremec uh, has come up with their own formula for this, uh, which works even better. So you really want to use one of those three fluids, the DEX-3, the Synchromesh, or the Tremec oil here. Use of any other fluids, uh, boutique style, uh, have colors in their names, you want to avoid those because they'll typically degrade the shift quality. Okay, so that wraps up the video for today. So hopefully we taught you a few things. And uh, as always, we're just a phone call away, 844-609-8187, or email me direct at info at shiftsst.com.